Hi, I'm Varsha and you're watching this video from JustTutors.com. In this video, we are going to learn about data handling. And in data handling, we are going to focus on the topic which is representing data using pictographs. So before moving ahead, we'll try one question. Here's the question for you. To try the question, you can pause the video. So basically in this question, you need to find the name of the subject which have the highest and the lowest number of learners. So the answer for the same is the highest number would be in English and lowest number would be in drawing. Now we move ahead and we are going to learn about data representation. So data representation means representing the data in the form of tables, graphs, charts, words or images. But generally we are using these three forms which is charts, pictographs and bar graphs to represent data. First of all, we are going to learn about pictographs. So data representation could be done by using different picture where we'll assign something to one picture and one picture is five burgers. So we can read the data is like this. Five burgers are there, five pictures and one picture is same as five burgers. So the answer is 25. Here we can calculate it. It is 7.5. Here it is 15. Here it is 30 and here it is 12.5. In this way we can read the pictograph. So here is one question for you. You can try this question and to try the question you can pause the video. So in this video as you can see that we have been given with a pictograph and in the pictograph class 1 represents 30 students, class 2 represents 40 students, Class 3 represents 20 students and Class 4 represents 50 students. So on the basis of this pictograph, we need to answer this question. So how many students are there in each class? That we have already mentioned here that in Class 1 it's 30, in Class 2 it's 40, in Class 3 it's 20 and in Class 4 it's 50 students. Now the second question says how many more students are there in Class 1 than in Class 3? That means we need to compare the students of Class 1 and Class 3. So in class 1 we are having 30 students, in class 3 we are having 20 students. We need to find the difference between them, so 30 take away 20 which is simply 10. So the answer for the question number 2 is 10 students. Now in third question we need to find out which class has the highest number of students. So by looking at the pictograph we can say that class 4 has highest number of students and in class 4 there are 50 students. So the answer for the third question is class 4. So this is the answer of our question. Thank you for watching this video. For more, please visit JustTutors.com.